A recent ruling from a federal judge here in Texas is casting doubt about a common abortion pill approved by the FDA years ago. And the issue could end up before the U.S. Supreme Court in short order. So this morning, Professor Josh Blackman from the South Texas College of Law joins us with, to talk more about the impact of this ruling. Good morning and thank you for joining us on The Morning Show. Good morning. Now, what would you say is the latest in this particular situation? So as the case stands now, the ruling is on hold till Friday of this week. Uh, the Biden administration has appealed the case to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans, and that motion was filed yesterday. Um, I would expect a ruling sometime today, maybe tomorrow, at the latest Thursday. The government has said that if the Court of Appeals does not reply by Thursday at noon, the government will go to the U.S. Supreme Court. So one way or another by Friday, I think we'll get a ruling, but probably today, tomorrow, maybe Thursday at the latest. And can you explain why this is the next big test for abortion cases? Well, this case isn't really about abortion directly, right? It's not whether women have a right to terminate a pregnancy. The issue is a little bit more technical. Uh, about 20 years ago, the FDA approved a drug which is used to perform medical abortions. And the plaintiffs here argue that that approval was not proper. So even if this drug is taken off the market, there are still other means to provide abortions, but this is a very commonly used drug to facilitate uh, terminating a pregnancy. What would you say is the, the major significance of the Texas judge's ruling? Well, in the, in the short term, the significance is that a very commonly used drug that's been around for two decades could potentially be taken off the market. But the sort of bigger picture is that now perhaps other drugs which have been approved long ago uh, by the Food and Drug Administration can now be in jeopardy. Uh, so this is sort of a novel um, frontier uh, where federal judges can scrutinize the FDA approval process like this. Okay, now that we have the ruling, Josh, can you explain what happens next? Well, what I suspect will probably happen is that the Court of Appeals will put in a temporary stay, at least for some period of time, to consider the arguments. Um, I'm not confident that the judge's ruling survives on appeal. Um, as I've mentioned a few times, this, this approval happened two decades ago, and there's something called a statute of limitation. A statute of limitation means you must bring your suit within a short period of time, a couple of years. Um, there's some arguments that the statute perhaps was put on hold while some other things happened, uh, but I, I'm not sure those arguments will prevail in the end. Mm -hmm. What is, in your opinion, is the impact of this particular ruling right now? So right now, no immediate impact. But a lot of people are worried that if this ruling is upheld, that the supply of these drugs will, will dwindle. Indeed, a number of governors in Massachusetts and Washington have created stockpiles of abortion pills, which be used to uh, uh, provide to women in their states if they, if, if they should need it. All right, Professor Blackman, always good to talk to you. Thank you for walking us through this from South Texas College of Law. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.